Hello, hello, and welcome to the evening session with me, Adham, 8-8 eight, eight right now across the Capitol. And I'm joined in the studio with three phenomenal um, ladies and guy, I would have to say. Um, that it's, it's been actually a lot of fun having you in the studio, even though we haven't even started talking yet. So uh, how's about a big round of applause for you guys? There we go. <laughs> Alrighty, so uh, the guys from Simon are here, so I'm going to actually let them do the honors and introduce themselves. Uh, why don't we start with uh, you, my dear? Hi, my name is Dean. I'm the extreme PR head. It's great to be here. Brilliant. Uh, hi, my name is Fata Maniezi, and I'm the development program head. Cool. Um, this is Habiba Halmi. I'm the executive coordinator. Alrighty then, That's, uh, that makes Ahmed, or as he prefers to be called, B, Fatima, not Fatma, and Habiba. Very, very cool. So uh, you guys are from an organization or like, you know, something that uh, is called Simon. Now, I want to know what this something that is called Simon is. All right. Uh, Simon stands for Current International Model United Nations. It's, uh, it's an entirely student-run organization. It's the largest conference outside of North America. Um, we have uh, we tackle social, political, economic, and legal issues through the eight councils we have, and um, we have about 500 or more students that participate each year. In order to make our conference truly diverse and international, we contact foreign universities abroad and we recruit uh, foreign delegates to be part of our conference. And uh, we're so excited because uh, Monday is our grand opening, inshallah. So sweet. Sweet, so there's a grand opening and uh, that's going to be this Friday you mentioned? Monday. Monday, yeah. Monday. Uh, actually, that, that's something that we want to talk about uh, in more depth in a few minutes. Um, we'll be back with the guys from Simon in just a few minutes time. Actually, uh, if I, my calculations are right, about uh, seven and a half minutes to be exact. With that being said, let's bounce back to the music and uh, we'll be talking some more to the guys from Simon and AUC. <laughs> Welcome to the evening session with me, Adham. However, today I'm not alone in the studio. Joining me are some very, very cool guys from a program that was just introduced to us happening at AUC called Simon, the Cairo International Model of United Nations. Now, Habibu was just explaining a few minutes ago that they have the grand opening um, or the launching of, uh, of like, you know, a big event this upcoming Monday. And that's definitely something I want to know a little bit more about. Ahmed. Tell me the details about this, man. Well, basically, the, the, the opening is going to be next Monday. It uh, marks the beginning of our conference, as you know. And usually, you know, the conference uh, has, has to include the participating delegates, the IP guests, the mixture of faculty, you know. And the highlight usually of the evening is the speech from the keynote speaker. Which is me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> just, I'm just making sure. Just to be honest. We got you covered, don't worry. <laughs> All right, cool. Don't let me stop you there. Okay, and basically the keynote speaker is usually uh, a world famous politician. Again, which is me. I'm like, <laughs> uh, sure. whatever, whatever you do, whatever you do. Yes, whatever helps me sleep at night, I guess. <laughs> And usually, like I was saying, uh, usually the you keynote know, speaker, uh, we had uh, the former Secretary General, which was Kofi Annan, and uh, Amr Musa, and um, who else did we have? Nabil Al-Harabi. Yeah, we had Nabil Al-Harabi also. Yeah, I mean, basically, I mean, we have a lot of famous politicians. Very, very, very cool. So all of these guys are going to be actually in the event this coming Monday, or is it just one? No, we can have all of them. <laughs> ah, okay, fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> So, um, I mean, is it classified who's coming, or is it already published? Well, I, I, mean, I can't classify I any mean, inform classified information, but I can't unleash this information, because... Fair enough. So, a big surprise for everybody attending. By the way, and that's actually my next question, can anyone attend, or is it via invitation, or how does this work? Well, basically, we only have invitations for the VIP guests, but uh, during the conference itself, Perfect, perfect. And I'm going to actually be getting your uh, contact information so that any of our listeners, if they're interested in uh, joining this event, they'll be able to connect with you, get in touch, and uh, figure out like, you know, how to be involved. Yeah, definitely. Brilliant. Now, uh, one, uh, one more thing that I'd like to talk about, but that's going to take a little while, so we'll leave this to the next break. Um, apparently, MUN, or Simon, is doing some very, very, very interesting work in uh, developing and development projects and programs, and we're going to be talking to Fatima about that in a few minutes to come. Oh, 
yes, hello, hello, and welcome to the evening session 829 right now across the Capitol. And uh, joining me in the studio today are, very, are some very, very cool guys from the Simon, the Cairo International Model of United Nations. And uh, just a few minutes ago, we were talking about their upcoming event on a Monday, and we'll be sharing their contact information for you to be able to connect with them and uh, maybe attend the uh, event, of which the highlights will um, not be me, but somebody of an equal caliber, I guess. <laughs> now, one thing that I'm very, very interested in knowing, because you guys were mentioning that you have something called the DP, like the, um, the development programs, and you're doing some amazing work there. So tell me more about that. Yeah, so basically you have three programs, the environment program, the awareness program, and the development program. Uh, the environment program deals more with the environment, and they have like awareness and stuff in schools and things like that. Uh, then you have the awareness. It's mainly um, uh, interested with politics and you know news and things like that. And DP, which is my area, development program. Uh, we do like uh, a series of events throughout the year. We started by the orphans iftar uh, during Ramadan. Great. Uh, yeah, we got lots of orphans and you know we played games and you know. That's very nice of you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then our main project this year is Yadawi, which is a developmental pro pro like project because we care more about uh, giving back to the people and uh, it's on and off campus as well, so uh, we don't just deal with people from AUC. Uh, we go to a place called Batna Ba'ar, which is a slum area uh, in near Masr al-Adima. We uh, get like contacts for uh, people who uh, teach jewelry. Uh, we and then we get their contact info and we we get the we we call them and then they come. Uh, we chose like 20 women. We had like 50 interviews. Who, uh, a lot of people were interested from Watan Bar. Uh, and that's it. We teach them and then we market their things and we have a Facebook group. We are trying to uh, put their stuff in stores, things like that. Very 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 cool. And um, I actually wanted to ask the same question here. Can anybody volunteer um, for, for these initiatives or is it something that you do on your own? Uh, definitely, like we're looking for mainly uh, people who know how to make jewelry and teach the women, but sometimes uh, we need a lot of people to like control them and, and make sure the taste is right and the thing is done right, so yeah. Brilliant. So let me get this straight. How, how does one get in touch with you? Like if I want to be involved with either the event or your um, development programs, how do I get in touch? Okay. First, we have a Facebook page called the Hadawi. Um, how do you spell that? Y A D A W I. Brilliant. All right. Cool. Yes, and uh, you can contact me on Twitter or through my email. It's uh, should I say my email? No, actually, I'll tell you what. You know what? I'll be posting a tweet right now with all of your contacts, if you guys don't mind. Would yeah, that work? Sure. Yeah. Brilliant. All right. So you can find that if you use the Nile FM hashtag um, in a couple of minutes. All the contacts of the Simon people are going to be over there. If you want to be involved with their event, if you want to be involved with the um, development programs that they have, or just check them out and get to know Simon a little bit better, you'll find that um, in all the links and all of the Facebook groups and everything on that tweet coming up your way. Guys, it was an absolute pleasure having you on the show. Thank you very, 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 very much. If you want to say any uh, last words? Yeah, we just wanted to thank our Secretary General, Ayah Fahmi, the Organizing Committee Head, Amina Shaheen, and the Budget Advisor, Yara Mastar. They've been very supportive throughout this whole thing, and they're the reason why we're here today. So, big shout out to you guys. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for having us. Brilliant. Thank you very, 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 very much. Guys, it was an absolute joy to have you here. We had a couple of great laughs. I'm, I'm hoping at least that you also had a couple of great laughs. Definitely. <laughs> that's great to hear. Thank you very much for coming in. Bouncing back to the music we go. Coming your way, Natasha Bedingfield. And these words of mine. Enjoy.